Hi guys and welcome to today's episode of the vlog series. Today I'm going to talk to you about careers in geriatrics or care of the elderly in the NHS. So whilst geriatrics or care of the elderly aren't always recognised individual specialisms in every healthcare system around the world, in the UK they are treated individually. Um, so who would be applying for these types of roles? Well, anyone that's worked in a general medicine setting would probably be applicable, and particularly if you've had exposure to things like falls, Parkinson's, stroke, any of the kind of elderly care related subs subspecialisms would be uh, really applicable. If you do come from one of the few countries that have geriatrics or care of the elderly recognized as its own individual specialism, then obviously that's gonna put you in great stead or if you've worked in an area where perhaps the demographics of the society where you live mean that there's a, a more elderly population, then that's always going to put you um, at, at the forefront as well. So I think the first thing to know about a career in geriatrics is that there is a bit of a misconception that um, it perhaps means you'll be working basically in a palliative care or end of life uh, kind of role, when actually care of the elderly is quite separate to that and, and probably the palliative aspect only forms a very small minority of the day-to-day -day role. Um, much like uh, a general medicine role overseas, care of the elderly is, is often quite well aligned with that because you are seeing a, a broad range of patients with different uh, cases to, to cover. So it will give you a great exposure to all of the different specialities of medicine, um, but perhaps at a slower pace than you would find in an acute med or ED type role. So if you've worked in perhaps a smaller unit overseas where you're not used to a busy intake of patients, then it may be uh, a good idea to start out in something in geriatrics where of course um, you're still getting the breadth of experience, the general medicine type role um, through that. In terms of opportunities for training in the uh, geriatrics areas, um, there's a number of subsets that might be of interest and you can find yourself branching off into things like stroke, Parkinson's, diabetes and endocrinology, falls or orthogeriatrics are all really popular. Um, and because of the nature of the work being slightly slower paced, you'll often get far more guidance than you would from consultants who are really busy in an uh, ED or acute med type setting. So it can be um, a good opportunity for junior doctors to get a good exposure to the kind of training they need if the future plans are to apply to training or CESA of course. Um, another good thing is that often the on-calls will actually be part of the gen med or acute med on-call rotor. So you'll find that um, if that's your kind of longer term focus is to get in something busier paced and this is a, a stepping stone into that busier pace, you will still get the exposure to that. So your day to day might have a slightly slower pace to it but your on-call commitments might be um, more uh, onerous as well. Okay, if you're looking for a career in geriatrics or care of the elderly, or perhaps you come from one of those backgrounds that we described um, and you think you might be suitable, then please do get in touch because we've got a number of roles across the NHS at the moment, mainly from ST3 plus through to consultant level. So we would love to hear from you.